if we thought it was an inflammatory process, the drugs that were often used in the past included oral corticosteroids, one of the common ones, prednisone. Also drugs azathioprine or imuran were used. There was also an entity called N-acetylcysteine or NAC. Uh, and for many years, patients were being put on those drugs to help control their symptoms. Fortunately, a few years ago, a good clinical study was done that showed those three drugs in particular actually made patients worse. So we now know that that's not the way to go. And fortunately, we have other drugs that have come to market that make a difference as far as slowing down the disease process that I mentioned as far as that fibrosis. Uh, actually, in 2014, two drugs were uh, approved by the FDA pretty much almost on the same day, OFEV and Espiot. Uh, OFEV is considered a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, so it works through a number of different enzymes in the lung that we know are important with regard to fibrosis and healing. Uh, Espiot is uh, really not known exactly how it works, but we know that in the clinical trials that were done for both of those drugs, and each, each of those drugs had clinical trials done to show that they slow down the progression of the disease. And that's what led to the FDA allowing approval uh, of those agents to be used. Well, fortunately, I was just at a lecture where they talked about probably over 50 clinical trials that can be seen on uh, clinicaltrial.gov, uh, which are in that group of emerging therapies. Uh, so patients with IPF and patients, for that matter, with any condition like lung cancer should seek out clinical trials because it may benefit them as well as potentially benefiting others if those trials end up showing uh, good efficacy of the drugs that are being used.